BT, fuck BT, fuck BT, yeah, fuck BT, yeah, 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 good so um Lil Nas and he just he's got some song with NBA Youngboy I mean I, I guess his fans is gonna be upset at that um I'm I guess I, I I was born in 1990 but I feel like I was born in 1900 sometimes when I look at today's hip-hop uh but Lil Nas X apparently is upset um and I'm gonna defend BET for the first time in, in forever as bad as that network that channel is when I was growing up BET was more than just a channel it was like a movement. It was a lifestyle. I mean, we sit there and watch BET all day and just be mesmerized. Um, but as much as I give BET hell, I got to defend BET with this. And they responded and said, hey, we, we got love for you, yada, yada, whatever. Now, the BET Awards has been pointless for about five years now. I haven't watched since like 2016. I don't even watch the BET Awards no more. Um, they did their nominations and... And, and, and honestly, Drake's probably the biggest rapper in the last 10 years, arguably one of the biggest artists of all time, rather you like him or not. He's never showed them any acknowledgement. Him, Wayne, Nicki, a lot of these big artists, like they don't even pick, show up to these uh, shows anymore. Uh, so I guess it's a good thing that there's an artist, if you consider Lil Nas a real artist, I consider him to be an industry plant slash, you know, entertainer. He's an entertainer to me. He's not a real artist. Um, but when he gives this much, he gives a damn this much, I guess the BET Awards mean something to him. I guess there was one of the few people that was in his corner, he guess, uh, he assumes, and he wanted to get some acknowledgement. Well, get back to the studio. And like it says, it shows and proves more people care about his antics on the internet and his sexuality than they care about his actual music. I ain't never heard anybody bumping any of his music in the streets if it wasn't Old Town Road. And if they was playing that, it was because it was on the radio every eight minutes or because they kids liked it. Even that video he did last year, the whole devil thing, and then he had the other one with Jack Harlow and the prison people. Like, people cared about the video. The video was the talk of the town. Nobody actually was talking about the music or the lyrics. Nobody cared. That was secondary. So it's like... Did it take this for him to realize, dude, your music sucks. People just was interested because of all of the wild shit you was doing in the video. You you sliding down a pole in a devil suit and all this weird stuff. And you're being marketed towards children. And it's crazy that he's calling out BET because wasn't BET the platform that let him perform last year? They let him perform that song. The devil song, whatever it was called, and he and let him come out there dressed half naked and let him kiss a man on stage. And I don't even think it was after 10 o'clock. Like kids were still up watching this. A lot of people were complaining about this. And you see people online saying, Oh, well, he BET, he gave y'all the best moment y'all had last year. That wasn't the best moment, it was the viral moment. But a lot BET got a lot of bad press from letting him get on stage and wild out like that last year. I think that's the reason why they didn't have him on there this year. And they just said, nope, we're not nominating him because uh, they took a lot of bad press, a lot of bad media but publicity came out of that. A lot of people was pissed off. People who may not be on the Internet who don't know about his lifestyle. They just know he's the little rapper that their sons listen to, Old Town Road. And they look in and they're like, oh, what's this? You know, it threw people off. But they gave him that platform. And how ungrateful is he because they didn't give you an, a nomination. It's FBT now. Really? <laughs> they, 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 what are you going to do? He going to do the same thing with MTV? Because they let him perform also last year. There's a lot of dope, talented artists that they don't let get on their platform. I never see Griselda on BET Awards. Rhapsody. Freddie Gibbs. I could go on and on. There's a lot of talented artists that put out great music at least currently, and they're not getting these opportunities to get that exposure. They gave you that. It's not their fault your album was 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 mid. And then some people will defend him and say, well, he had so, so many records. Let's not even get talk started on that. How many people bought the album just because he was gay and they just wanted to support it based off his sexuality as compared to buying it because you like the music? Let's be honest. And then we know labels traditionally have always, years ago, Def Jam was known for that back in the day, buying people's albums for the first week sales to be big. 
But then you could tell when they did it because if somebody dropped and the album sold 500,000 and the next week it did 100,000 and it was a like 70% decrease, you could tell somebody was helping. Somebody, it was some assistance from the label. Now with streaming, these labels have found ways to trigger numbers and, and mess up numbers and, and put things out there to make it seem like someone's doing better than they really are. They was doing that with 6 9 on YouTube. Oh, he's got the most watched video in the history of YouTube ever. They, they, was, they was putting those numbers out there, man. Don't be fooled. I've never seen anybody in the streets playing Lil Nas X album. Anything he got other than Old Town Road. The music speaks for itself. He's an entertainer. He's not an artist. I don't care who song he recorded with. He's an entertainer for a certain group of people who want to be entertained by him. Um, but BT, they're going to nominate who they want to nominate. And obviously, and like I said, it was some good albums that came out with him since he dropped his album. He wasn't competing with J. Cole and some of these other projects. Kendrick recently, he did like on, a, on some real serious shit. You're not competing with these dudes. So get over it. Get back to the booth. If I, you know, or shut up. But yeah, BT, they they put who they want to put on that show. You know what I mean? Take it up with the judges. But yeah, they've been very friendly for him. And they've been supporting him and supporting a lot of nonsense for a while now. But yeah, I, BT uh, did what they thought was best for business. And he's pissed off. And uh, meanwhile, he's got a song with NBA Youngboy. Uh, I guess, you know, Pride. I guess they're going to call it the Pride Remix. I don't know. You got some people out there online saying, oh, well, it's Pride Month. How you not going to nominate Lines X? Well, just because it's Pride Month? Like, stop it. Stop it. That's that's the kind of entitlement that this group thinks they deserve. Just because it's Pride Month, he's got to be nominated. Listen to yourself. Or better yet, try to listen to his album, because I know it's horrible. <laughs> Damn, even BET acknowledged how bad it was. But let me know what y'all think. Um, Lil Nas X calling out the BET Awards.